Hello, Shoestring here. Today I'm doing an update and a new power situation for our porch garden. I already did a video when we began the porch garden. I'll put that in the link. But I have added several lights and increased the capability of what we can grow. It looks a little odd now because we've just done some harvesting and we're starting some new plants. But our power needed to be updated. So what I did is I had a 200 mod 200 watt modified inverter at first. I've now increased this to a 500 watt and a 500 watt pure sine wave, mostly because of the pump. Porch Garden, of course, has a water pump and even small ones work in a particular way that they take modified sine wave not as well as a pure. So I switched it to a pure. I've just hook, hooked up our fancy little kilowatt here. So it's about 38, 39, we'll say 40 watts, which is really quite low for everything we're doing. But you have to remember, this will change a lot as the pump goes off and on and as it runs. So think about that when you're trying to do one of these. So, at the moment, like I said, I have a pure sine wave here. I also have connected it to a battery, which is going to run my system. I'm also going to show you a little trick I use. What I've shown you these before. These are a little charge controller, charge regulator from Harbor Freight. When I'm finished with this, and we're good, by the way, I wire everything in. But right now, while I'm testing, I want everything to be loose so I can move it around and see how well it works. So I have this connected to the inverter, and it's running, and I want it to be able to charge all the time. So one of the little tricks I have learned and what I've done on other projects, and so I know it works, is I take these and I just click it on top, just like that. You see that? Positive and negative. Always do the battery first. And then the wire that connects to my solar panels right here. And I'll hook that up. And as you can see, hopefully you can see the yellow light is on. And it is charging. So as long as I leave it like this, while it's running all my lights and the pump and keeping everything going, it will also keep the battery charged up. This way I get a good indication of how many panels and how much solar power I'm going to need to recharge this battery that's running the farm over there. Okay, that's just a little tip. I do this a lot where I take the little charge controller and other ones, put them right on top of the battery to see how much the battery will take to get charged up. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. Oh, one other thing. I also have a link to this specific form, which cost around $80, $90. I don't, last I looked, they weren't quite available left yet, but there are also, also some alternatives around $89, $90 if you want to do a farm just like we're doing right here. So, have any questions, put it in the comments. If you like this type of video, Please subscribe and like it and shoestring 